Alright guys, today I'm going to show y'all how to um, play music on your Xbox 360 using iTunes. And a lot of people want to know how to do this because when you open iTunes, basically you can't transfer that over like Windows Media Player. And Windows Media Player adds everything and some people don't like it. I don't care for it, but you know, I prefer iTunes and all my stuff with the names and titles rights in there and stuff my mom downloads her and media player so I don't want that on my box. What you need to do is you need to go to a website and you need to download a thing called Tversity. There'll be two versions of it but you only need to download the free one, okay? Then you need to install it. It's simple, um you can install the S toolbar, or you install make sure it does the firewall setup for you. It's it's easy. Nothing you really need to know. Okay, next you just need to open up Tversity iTunes. I already have iTunes open. I already have it running. I didn't know I had it running. Okay, just give it a second. And you open it. Now, what you do is this is an internet radio. I watched the video on the internet radio one, and it worked. I mean, okay, you need what you gotta do is click the little plus sign right there. Internet audio. And iTunes, you're gonna click basically you're gonna click radio. And people don't realize about the radio, you can't really do nothing. You can't get no info on it, so you need to do drag the whatever you want right here, drag it to the playlist. No. Double click it, right click, get info. Where? It'll say where. You click the edit Earl copy okay close you're done click you need to add the URL just paste it URL whatever you want, I call it URL for short put that as a title and just submit it see that already is this because I already have it let's do another one uh, I don't know do a random one what the crap is classical music Uh, how about this? Just add it to the playlist. Open it. Get info. Edit the URL. Copy. Okay. Exit. Paste it. Submit it. Alright, now, this is where a lot of people want to do. Now, a lot of people going to watch this other guy's video if you go to it after mine. And you're going to say, well, you don't show us how to do the music from iTunes. Okay, well, now I'm going to show you how. You, what you got to do is, it's real simple. Just click Add, and then you click File, okay? And you go into iTunes, and you need to go into Music. Find a song you want, like, uh... Uh, how about downfall of us all? Get the info. This now a lot of people are like, how to do this? Just right click it. It won't. Just click the name. You won't select it. Just click copy path. Go to TV Versity. Paste it. Um, title. Put a title in here. you submit it. Okay, now this is how you get it to your Xbox 360. All you gotta do is it's real simple, no strings, just turn on your Xbox. Okay, just turn it on. Now, um, I'm not sure if this works if you don't have your Xbox already set up to connect to like media player and all that, which you know you probably do. So if you don't have it set up to connect to that, Maybe it won't work, but for me it does, so you know it should work. This You can do this for anything. I, I'm going to put all my stuff in there after a while. Then you go to Music Library on your Xbox. Then it'll come up with the devices. Most people know it'll say hard drive, current disk, 
like a disc on your Xbox will say portable device. Like if you were to connect an iPod other than the iPod Touch because they don't work. Or it'll say your computer name. And then it, this one will say TV Versity on Vista Ultimate. Or whatever you have. I have Ultimate. Click it. Save playlist will be where your radio stations go. Okay? Or you can just click songs and if you click songs it'll be there anyways. And then you just play it. And it's simple as that. It's, it's there. It's don't take up memory or nothing. I mean, if you add all your stuff from iTunes, add one big playlist, which I don't know, maybe you can. Let's close this right here. Or to click any export, maybe? Put it, put it on the desktop. Yeah, we'll put it on the desktop. Save it. Properties. I don't know. I don't know if I can look at this or change it. No, you can't. But I guess you could put file system, or you know, add it, click file, and then just kind of move this where you can see it. Right there, we'll step up. Uh, C users administrator. Uh, C colon. Okay, you, you can't do that because basically iTunes puts it as a text file, so don't try to do that if you were. So you can't do just full, but you know, add every single song and eventually you'll get it depending on how much songs you got. That's what I'm saying. I got three or four hundred. It'll take me a long time, so. But, I mean, that's how you do it, guys. If you want a simple playlist to go on your playing Halo. Also, check out this guy. This is the guy that showed it. KG5559. I'll put a link. I'll put a link to download it all. So, this has been Jan Zion, y'all. Peace, guys.